Hello everyone, I'm Saurabh, joined with Mark. Hi there. And today we're talking about extensibility options. So, uh, Mark, what are, what are the extensibility options in Microsoft Graph? Yeah, so there's two primary extensibility options with Microsoft Graph. There's open extensions, which mm -hmm. we talked about in the previous video. Mm -hmm. And there's schema extensions, which is what we're talking about in this video. Okay, so what are the advantages of schema extensions? So schema extensions, like open extensions, can be put onto a number of different types inside of Microsoft Graph, and they allow you to add your own information to the, the types inside of Microsoft Graph. Okay. But the primary advantage to schema extensions is that you have really great control over it from the application, plus you can actually filter your types based upon those properties. So for instance, if you put a property on users that contains their favorite color, then you can filter down to users with just a particular favorite color. Okay. So, and can I uh, create an extension for anything? So you can't create extensions on every type inside of Microsoft Graph, but the major types like user and group and device and email and calendar event, yes, you can create extensions on those. Okay. And would there be a disadvantage or something? Oh. Yeah, so, so schema extensions are a little bit more complicated to use than open extensions. You have to create them up front, and when you create them, you start a life cycle attached to the, to the schema extension itself. And so okay. it starts as in development, and that, then it means it's only available to your application. And then you promote it to available, and at that point in time, it's available to any application and any tenant, and then eventually you can mark it as deprecated. So there is a little bit more to know about schema extensions than open extensions, but okay. it has its advantages too. Okay, awesome, that sounds exciting. Uh, can we check a quick demo? Sure. Yeah. So here we are in Graph Explorer again, logged in as Megan Bowen. Okay. We already have a schema extension created in this particular case, but we're going to go ahead and create a group and put that schema extension on there. Okay. So again, we're going to show more samples. We're going to add our extensions category, mm -hmm. at which point in time we see some extensions, some open extension and some scheme extension properties show up. Okay. So the first thing we're going to try to do is uh, filter groups by extension property. Um, we can see that there's no groups that currently have either of these extensions on it. Okay. We can also go look at the available schema extensions, which is just going to fetch the schema extensions out there. We can see that there's a couple extensions that have been created in our tenant. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go ahead and create a new group with a particular extension property on it. So we're posting here to groups. We have all the normal information for a group, but we also have our extension property directly on group. So okay. it's a to M I S V underscore courses, and you can see that we have three properties on, on that thing. Got it. So now if we run that query, uh, as mentioned previously, we can go ahead and filter by groups with a particular extension property and look for matches that we care about. Awesome. That was great, Mart. Thank you so much for the overview. Sure. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Please check our documentation on graph.microsoft.com. Thank you.